Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you like college football as much as I do. The Florida Gators, oh, oh, as a Seminole fan, this brings me joy. I'm kidding. Look, I think Florida's going to be a better football team all the way around this year. I think defensively, they'll be a heck of a lot better. I've heard rumors from the spring game and even in training camp, they're looking a lot better. I believe it. I mean, that's if I'm Billy Napier, that was my first concern was fixing that defense up ASAP. Um, <clears throat> I think that... um. Yes, they start at Utah, and I wrote the schedule down, by the way. That's a loss right there. Look, Utah, I don't even think Utah's that much better because talent-wise, they're not a great team, but they do all the little things right, if you know what I mean. And uh, they have a really good football team. I know Florida's going to show up ready to play. They're going to want to win this game. I know Utah will probably be in the top 15, top 20 somewhere, as they should be. But that altitude in, in uh, Utah is very hard to deal with. You can ask Kamaru Usman. That's a big part of why when his second fight with uh, Leon, ask Leon, not Kamaru, he lost. Leon was struggling a lot in that fight, and a big part of it was that altitude. Um, and I've seen that with a lot of professional athletes like Cain Velasquez. When he fought in Mexico City, they have a lot of altitude over there. He didn't exactly prepare for it, and he got his butt kicked by Fabricio Verdun. Shout out to those guys. <laughs> now, um, back to the, this game. I think Utah beats Florida. Should be a pretty good game, but I think that altitude would be too much. That'll help Utah pull away. I think Utah wins this game 34-17. to Again, they'll pull away with them. I don't think they're 17 points better than Florida, but they should win this game. And then they have the host, McNeese State. I think Florida wins that game, no problem. And I'm going to talk about the Tennessee game in a second. They host Charlotte also. I think they win those games. The Tennessee game, here's the thing. I know the odds, the favors, the, the Vegas odds have, have Tennessee as a touchdown favorite. I agree. I think Tennessee is going to be a better team than Florida. However, this game is being played in Florida. And while I think Florida is not a great team yet, I think they're improved enough defensively to get a few stops to take advantage of, of a quarterback like um, uh, Milton, who has had interceptions problems with Michigan. And I imagine he's had the same issue with Tennessee. That's why he hasn't been the starter up until this point, you know, until Hooker got hurt. So with that being said, I think uh, Tennessee drops this game in Florida. I think Florida wins this game by a field goal, 38-35. And now you're sitting at 3-1. and one. Then they got to go to Kentucky. Kentucky is a team they haven't beaten in three years now since 2020. That ends. I think Florida is a pretty good football team. They're good enough to win. I think they win a low-scoring affair. I know they got Devin Leary from NC State at Kentucky, but he's not going to be the same. He had a real bad leg injury against FSU. And... Normally, when a player goes through that kind of injury, they're never the same, at least for that first year after. And then two years after the injury, they're pretty darn good again. You can ask uh, uh, Nick Chubb from Georgia about that in Cleveland. He had that same problem playing Tennessee, but that's besides the point. I think Florida wins that game 20-17. to 17. They win by a field goal. It should be a low-scoring defensive battle. And then they have to host Vanderbilt. I think they win that game without any issues. They'll be 5-1. and one. Uh, From here, they have some losses coming up. They lose at South Carolina. I think South Carolina is headed in the right direction. Problem for Florida is South Carolina is a year ahead with Shane Beamer. Now, with that being said, I don't think Florida is going to get pushed around in this game. I know they beat down South Carolina last year, 30-6, to whatever it was. But I think South Carolina is going to do a little bit more offensively than what Florida will be able to. So with that being said, I think South Carolina wins this game 31, maybe 28-24 to by four points or a touchdown, I don't think it'd be a blowout loss for Florida. It's not going to be humiliating for Florida. I mean, South Carolina's getting better. They're winning their rivalry games. You can ask Clemson about that. <laughs> so, and Florida's still a team being rebuilt. I mean, you had a team like Florida who was not getting a lot of recruits because Dan Mullen was the last coach there. He didn't recruit, recruit well. He didn't care to recruit. He admitted that. And it's only Napier's second year, so I mean, what can you expect? Then they go to Georgia. I mean, I'm not going to talk about that game. That's a loss. Arkansas, they host Arkansas. Again, Arkansas is a team I think is better than the Florida Gators. However, this game is at Florida, and the last time they went to Florida, Florida beat them. I don't think that's any different except for the point spread. I think Florida wins 27-21. I think Florida's defense will improve throughout the year. You'll see them get more defensive, key defensive stops. You'll see them force more fumbles, maybe get a few more interceptions to what they did last year. They'll tackle a lot better, and that'll show against Arkansas. If you can shut down the quarterback game for Arkansas, Arkansas, you win the game. I think Florida does enough of that at home to win with the home crowd backing them up. Um, they go to LSU. You haven't beat LSU, Florida, since 2018. You ain't beating them this year. That's a loss. Um, you go to Missouri. 
that's a win. I don't think Missouri's better than Florida. I think Florida's going to get better while Missouri is about the same. And then you have to host Florida State. That's a loss. Florida State's going to be a lot better this year. Both sides of the football, they're loaded with players. that They've hit the transfer portal really hard. Uh, Jordan Travis is a really good quarterback. I think it's going to be too much for Florida. Uh, I think it might get a little ugly. With that being said, Florida will go, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven and five. Florida goes seven and five.